Okay, Marissa, uh, let's see here. You So you couldn't figure out how to place the little uh, icon images next to the wording. There's a couple different ways you can do it. There's three built-in elements that you could use. Well, really only two of the three will work, and I'll show you that in a second. You could also set it up as multiple columned row and do a thin row on the very left-hand side and put your images in there and then do a text box next to it. But the easier ways to do it is, let me find that page I had open. Okay, so the easier way to do it is you got three different elements and well, I'm like flying off the screen here. Um, so the first one here, let's just say we wanna put in a new element and this one here we can put in a bullet list. Okay, so we got a bullet list here. I don't need all these, let me get rid of one of these. And then we can come in and we can change what the icons are. First off, you can just click in here and you can type in whatever you want. Then you can come over, you can make it bold, um, underlined, italics, all that stuff. Then you can come in here and you, of course, can change the font size on this, make it bigger or smaller, change the colors, change the icon color. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we can come over here to advanced and we can uh, put in our list, but let me go back here to settings real quick here. So it says icon list or an ordered list. Okay, so, all right, so you can do that. I think that's a newer feature. Um, so you can label it one, two, three, four, or we can do an icon list, so let's do that. So let's go to advanced and we can just change out what we want here. So just click on, click on this and just type something in. I was just watching something else and they were talking about magic. And so they were like put in a, a wand and so we put a wand in there, or we can go to the second one here, and I'll just uh, put in magic again. So you type in your search key here. We can put in magic. We'll put in a little Merlin's hat. And then, of course, you can do basic, simple things like, come on, come on. Uh, let's just put in, um, let's just put in an arrow. Oops, clicked it out. Come on. So we'll just start typing in arrow and let's just say we want that. Okay, now we can go back to our settings and we can come down here and we can change our icon colors. So let's say we want them all to be red. And so now they're all red and they're different icons. And then of course you can change your text color as well and uh, your bold color. Let's make that green. And so that looks pretty hideous now, but you get the idea. And um, let me see here. Can you do multiple lines of text? Let me just see. Yeah. So you can type out as much as you want in here and do it that way. With a little bit of CSS, you could even come in and make that icon bigger, and that would work. Now, the second way we can do it, let's go down to the third way, which isn't really going to work. This is a bulleted list, I do believe. Let me just throw in a new one. So we come here, put in bullet list. And uh, nope, that wasn't a bullet list. What was that one? The top one up here was a bullet list. This one was, uh, is it an icon list, an image list? Let's try that one. Image list, yeah. So that's an image list. The limitation with this is pretty severe in that you can store any image you want in the image editor. The problem is it has to be 32 pixels because if you put in something even any bigger than that, let's just go up here, let's go to some stock images and let's just put in this smiley face. Um, it's, it's just too big. I mean, look at this. You, you just barely get in the top of it because that's a huge image. So you need something that is only 32 pixels. So again, you're probably not going to want to use that one. Here is most likely your answer, though, and this is the featured image element. And you just come down here and our image feature element. Come down there. Click on that, open it up. And now if you click on this, you can see you got two different sets of text here. So you can have the larger text you can have a smaller text down here and of course you can bold italicize all that stuff now let's go inside of it and let's find where we got here so we can change our headline size you can change your text size you can change the color of your headline and your text I don't see anywhere in here for bold you can change the image size too which that's nice whereas up here you couldn't change the image down here you can change the image size change your uh, change the font that you want to use. And let's see what's under. Oh, and that's right here. This is nice too, because you can flip it. 
You can go image text or text image, flip it back and forth. You can change the width of each one of the columns. So that's always a neat, neat thing to do there. Normally you're going to leave it at 80, 20 and you can put a border around it if you want, but it's pretty limited on the border. Um, so you probably won't tend to use that and then a shadow on the image as well. But now let's go back into, let me see, do they have any themes? Oh, I guess they got some themes too. Let's try this theme. All right. So that just changes the shape of the image and the outline around it and stuff. Okay. And now let's go into our settings. If this thing doesn't time out on me. So now we're in our settings and so now we're going to put in our image. That's, that's what I was looking for. So we can come in here and we can grab any image. Let's just grab this one of Catherine's. And now we have our image there and I don't like it that it's got that background around it. So let's come back in here and is there like, uh, let me see. Okay. There you go. That took care of it because it was a transparent PNG. And so now we can see the back background through it. So I think that should answer your question of how to put an image to the left of that on, uh, so that was, I guess that was a digital marketer site. So what you can do is just come into digital marketer here, right click on where that image is, save that image, or just grab it and drag it off the screen, whatever you gotta do to save the image, upload that into your image library, and then you could just pop that in there.